Okay. Apparently, Raspowski is going to have his up in 20 minutes, so I'm going to just live stream. <laughs> All right, back to it. Okay, Razbowski confirmed 20 minutes from now, his, his thing will be up. Hang on. Setting some stuff up on the side. I hope that's not going to be copyright. Anyway. Okay. So everybody just talk about how you like the FNAF movie while I, uh... I hope that's not... Okay, there we go. I wish there was more kills. I mean... There was the right amount of kills in that movie, I guess. They couldn't just keep on putting random characters in there. So I guess they just made the ones that were meant to die count, and they definitely made those uh, death scenes count. Were terrifying looking. I'm gonna get my OBS up with Razbowski. I hope it's the fact that Razbowski, or I hope it's not the fact that Razbowski didn't get the memo that everybody was delaying their video. Cause now then I'd really have to just sit up on stream. Cause I don't feel like starting another one after this. Sister, anyone in the chat, when is the video release? In 20 minutes, I'm gonna just post it up on here. That's Delfino Plaza. Okay, I didn't know Mario Wonder had a Super Mario Sunshine reference. Nintendo actually remembered Mario Sunshine? Let's go! Am I to I thought Razbowski deleted his, uh... Tweet. I was gonna be mad. <laughs> okay. The jump scares in the movie was kind of crazy. You know, especially those cheeky balloon boy ones. Awesome that they have a whole Mario Sunshine reference in this game, though. Yeah. That was that, that was good. That was good. If they do it for Luigi's Mansion, I might lose my shit. Don't spoil me if Luigi's Mansion has a theme in here. I know King Boo is in the game, but don't spoil if Luigi's Mansion has like a a, a break time tunes thing. Just refresh Razbowski's page, the video was not up. 
but it also hasn't been 20 minutes. Me, I'm just impatient. Don't worry about me. I came back and still playing Mario. What's going on? It's literally at the bottom of the screen, buddy. I'm not docking where Razbowski. I can't control these videos. Can I just burn these things? It's gonna take way too long to. It's gonna take way too long to grab them and coil them back. It's out, it's out, it's out, it's up, it's up, it's out, it's up, it's out. All right, all righty, all right. Uh, up to heaven, went away. Okay. Ensure right. your small business. Oh, Christ. All right. We are about to watch Razbowski's version of the Finance of Freddy's movie set vlog. I guess Raz didn't give a damn about those um those YouTube issues. I'm gonna go ahead and delete my initial live stream that went wrong. There we go. There we go. Walking around here is like a completely different experience. It's like honestly like you're actually in the game 100%. I'm walking around, I'm seeing Bonnie over here. It's unbelievable how everything looks. Seeing it physically, it's like a, a, a dream come true. And Holy hell. Scott must be over the moon to see his creation like this come to life because Chica feet. Chica Five Nights at Freddy's movie is peak cinema! And not only that, but it is absolutely destroying box office records! Wait, Truly really is a beautiful time to be a FNAF fan! And of course, you've already the seen same the movie, amount of money right? as because now Mario it's finally did? time to show you all the secrets that you missed! Welcome to the unedited version of the FNAF movie set tour! And in this video, we can finally show you all the parts of the movie set that you were never meant to see! Hello! Hello, hello! Uh, well, if you're hearing this, then... Like and subscribe! We got some absolutely incredible got, things to be showing you in rounds. this video. We got to meet the actors for Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, where they even taught us how to become an animatronic. We got to see and meet some secret characters that we were not allowed to show in the previous Sparky vlog. The dog. And we also got to try on the Spring Bonnie suit, which may or may not have been a little bit dangerous, but you know, I like living on the edge, you know what I'm saying? And in this video, we're going to be going over all the parts that you didn't see in the previous one, so please go and check out part one if you haven't already because this video is only going to cover the things we were not allowed to show until the movie came out because it contains heavy spoilers and also really you're hyped. cool secret sure bits that like you weren't meant to see, but now you can. So enjoy this video, smash that like button if you're hyped, and hey, let me know, have you seen the FNAF movie? And if you have, give it a score out of 10. Pop it down in the comment section below. I want to see what score everybody's given for the FNAF movie. So yeah, pop it down there. I give the film an 8 out of 10. A solid 8 as a FNAF fan, as a person has been waiting for this movie for 8.5 years. 8 out of 10 is a fair score. And hey, FNAF 2 is coming, right? The second film, I'll see you there. No, we should be more excited than that. Yeah, yeah. Has a bare why? Robot shirt. Because we're seeing Freddy. Freddy Fazbear, baby. And the beautiful Doco's Games is right. We were off to see <laughs> Freddy FNAF so and awkward, Friends bro. to prove once like, and for all that FNAF is so real. Awkward. And oh, what a day. What a day absolutely was. I'm going to be popping in here every so often just to fill in some of the blanks that I wasn't able to talk about at the time because it was spoiler related material. But now the film is out, baby. We can talk about what we want. And there are so many things that I want to talk about. So hey, if I do pop in here every so often, it's just to give you some more info. A quick shout out to Scott and everybody over at Blumhouse yeah, as well Scott and for obviously supplying us with the once in a lifetime opportunity. Thank you. I'm off. Enjoy the rest of this vlog. This is day one of about three, I think. So enjoy. <sighs> oh my. On his head over there. It's oh, actually insane to see the set though. Like look at all this camera stuff. The heads, like 
Wow. See, it's it's probably got to be like crazy to see all this before it even drops. Oh yeah, because um, they're building a fort, right? Yes. That's what Scott said. Oh, the freaking uh, just down here, just realised. Is that? Oh, oh, they're on the floor. <laughs> just realised. What are you seeing? Are we yeah. having a chorotic on the floor? They're just chilling. They're just taking a suit. Yeah, we just we just shot an overhead shot. Looking down. Look down under here. Oh, look. No. Oh my God. Is that from the vibing. fort scene? No, his eyes are moving. Nah. Freddy's eyes are moving. No, no, stop. Yeah, Freddy's yeah. eyes are moving. Chill. <laughs> Chill, chat. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> no, that's crazy. Nah, that's insane. One thing, one thing Barely we can take from the Five still Nights at Freddy's moving. universe and relate it back to our own real-life world, it's computer problems. I've got them, you've got them, Gregory and Vanessa have got them, and it all results in the same thing. Somebody getting very angry and released into the world. But I'm so sick and tired of it, man. But luckily, the solution is actually quite simple. I'm just gonna have another baby. Oh. Just look at how okay. beautiful they yeah, are. Man, They're faster, time stronger, to more powerful than my previous child, and hey, look at all yes, the cool glowy lights. But to bring this beautiful baby girl into this world, I couldn't have done it on my own or even with my wife. Everything's so fast, I actually have to spend time with my family. Yo, Seriously. Do you can avoid a, your people. put a whole fucking promotion in there. <laughs> I love your ass. You're funny. Well, okay. Since, since I'm reacting to his video, make sure y'all check out the Starforge link that Raz has down there. Honestly, go and if check out the Starforge for systems PC. and the All right, my videos back to skyrocket it, back to it. through the roof. Starforge systems, go oh, get oh, one Oh, now. shit. Oh, oh, shit. He's in the chat. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Raz? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> this is what I, told, I told them to check the link. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Yeah, <clears <clears <throat> Look at them. Oh, Everybody. Man. Freddy's toes. <laughs> oh my God, Freddy's toes. <laughs> what, are, what are we on about over here? Look at this. Oops. Oh, are, you, are you you guys controlling this? I think they are. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> they're controlling. They gotta be. I'm trying to scare the hell out of us. Look at that. Freddy blinked twice. He's a hostage. Freddy, if you're alive. It's it's, it's it's it has to be like terrifying though. Like they can just move any Freddy's second. Like, That's crazy. He's looking right at us. Oh, he moved his mouth. They should have had him like move and break the fort. <laughs> Scare the hell out of everybody. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. This is just a good fort. Bonnie's just like what trying was great to pretend about to stay the still. In the like... fort like this was it showed that the film was going to have like an emotional side to it as well. It wasn't just about the horror, it wasn't just like Bonnie looks like Bonnie looks like he's alive but at the same time he's dead. And like he's waited, he's ready to spring at any second. About the scares, it was multi-layered, multi-faceted, and then to see the animatronics actually have <laughs> let me see Raz, let me see Raz. Like Freddy had there, because this was the first time we were interacting with the FNAF animatronics. This was a really special moment, and yeah, you got to see Freddy's fast toes. You're welcome. Oh, the pit. Hey yo, somebody's going in there, right? Yeah. Somebody is going in there. Freddy, no! The yeah, happy one in there. It's actually crazy, like to know like Hit what happened, subscribe button. like smash it after the first one. <laughs> and then seeing these guys in here talking about how deep it was, yeah, it must have been deep for that little girl to be in there. My God, bro can't even stand up, right? Something, there's something in there. Something. Oh my God. Oh God, man. Now this next section is actually really, really cool because finally, finally, we got to see what a FNAF pizzeria kitchen looked like and it looked absolutely amazing. It had a big fan, it, super it had ghetto. a big fridge, it had Love pizza boxes, it. it had everything you would expect in the kitchen. I mean, except for the, the cupcake end game and somebody called Carl, which ironically is, is what itself? the fan base actually called the cupcake. I thought that was a nice touch, nice little Easter egg there from Scotty Boy. But we then got to go through the back hallways and get to, we got to really experience the, the the wholeness of this pizzeria it wasn't just a couple of rooms it actually had the the back passageways it, it was basically shaped exactly like the map on the game when you looked at the cameras you would flip it up and you would see how the layout was that's how they made it that's how wow. the set was you could literally walk through the whole pizzeria as if it was one big static building and it was fantastic you got to see the closet in which now. Bonnie would hide in the FNAF one game when it, he would look up at the camera and that's obviously where Hank was aiming 
Endgamed as well. We got to see his hand print Hank, on Hank the got window more than as well. You got one tap. Just meet a couple of animals in the like hallway, just Hank vibing, chat. just chilling. They were cooking up something, but they weren't telling us what. And we got to meet the mimic. What is that? Overall, the team did an absolutely incredible job of creating not only a pizzeria, but something that you could actually physically walk through and feel as if it was real. It was, it was. Um, you you almost you almost scared the living hell out of me. I thought for two seconds, I thought for two seconds, uh, the real Scott Cawthon was in the chat. <laughs> I didn't even see like the mini verified next to the name. You're funny. Unbelievable. It was, we learned so many cool things, which I'm going to keep passing on to you. So you're learning as well. Look at us all learning. Every day's a school day. Stay, 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 stay in school, kids. <laughs> Feet. Oh, why do you have that? Yo, Raz, you're still in the chat. Oh, sus. Man. Bring it in. Sus, man. Sus. Sussing me out. Give Freddy a big old hug. A whole you. shot for Freddy's feet, huh? Oh, Crazy. Fast hug. I remember the hugs. Oh, his ears are wiggling. Oh, well, that's he the death that. wiggle. <laughs> that ain't the happy wiggle. Oh, wow. Whoa. Hey, Freddy. <laughs> Hiya. That's a real close-up. <laughs> nah, uh, how, how convenient that Raz leaves the chat right as the feet part shows up, right? Yeah. Um, oh, that's so beautiful. Don't, don't let him forget this, chat. Don't I let him forget it. over this. It's not the real Scott. Yeah, we know. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, how I almost like... This is oh, so my God, cool. Scott! <laughs> It's crazy too. Speaking of Scott, Scott said he had watched some of my videos, and I don't know which he watched. Like, I hope he didn't watch the real, real old ones, man. Oh, skeleton. Oh, my crappy mic. Oh yes. Ah. Oh. This one. Right there he is. That's me. There he is. Torture head. Torture head. Oh yeah. Torture head. That's what I'm calling that now. Oh, is this a Oh, Shadow Freddy. No, I ain't no, no Shadow no, Freddy. That's, new... that's Tin Can Freddy. Oh, he's been through it. I think he's been around longer than a... Uh, longer than Fredbear. Torture Freddy. Oh, like a Halloween wow. Well, I think they put the mask... Well, yeah, the mask on and then, yeah. Damn. Oh, it's got, yeah, it's got blades yeah, in it. Is. What? One for the forehead. So it, it all. One for the forehead. One for the whole face. Really like. oh. And it goes up and down. You so cool. Yeah, come on then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This um. unveil. Oh, oh there. Oh. Damn. Oh. We had two color, two two different color eyes, or am I just tripping? Like bad. Oh my god. Oh. It might be because the box is here and then there's like something black over there. My bad. Oh, but there's two heads. So cool. What? Oh, it's a suit! Yeah! Look at that. Thank you, Vestruct, for becoming a super kister. Thank you. Who put his hands on hangers, bro? Is this what Matthew's gonna be wearing? Wow. Oh, that's so cool. But you can film, they're just there's foams. No, you might as well put it on. Sure. <laughs> the guy said sure sounded like these masks are so good. <laughs> this is what he said. He said sure. <laughs> it's actually picking up their eyeballs as well on the auto tracker. Oh. Never in my wildest for that fantasies did I. Hold on a second. That kind of sounds a little bit weird. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that I was going to be in the same was room so with the work. iconic spring bonnie costume. Let alone try that bad boy. Yo, look at him. <laughs> that the spring lock. Yeah. This man Raz is goofy, man. Don't fail on your boy, but here I am. Here He's we so are in the room with Golden Freddy, with Spring Bonnie. Look at the level of detail actually on these crazy. animatronics. Oh, actually, these are just the spring suits. Look at them. Look how good they look. A massive shout out to everybody over at Jim Henson's Creature Shop because they have brought FNAF to life. The love that they have for this franchise is clearly seen in the suits. They look so good and they look even better on the big screen. <laughs> they yeah, cook, bro. They, uh, they cook. Bunny's got cake. It's a nice <laughs> pie they made. Right, I think only you've noticed that so far. I'm not gonna lie. Spicy pie. Yeah, yeah, it's the 
It's just the way the suit's been aged as well. It's mm. just, it's gonna look so good. So it's bad cupcake like the suit and then. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to figure out like what, what, what happened here? I don't know what the hell is happening in my Google Chrome and why it keeps screen tearing. Anyway, um, what, what happened here? Like, Need some well. more. It's, just, it's gonna look so good. So bad cupcake like the suit. Yo, Scott, if you ever watch this, just remember, I'm always available for FNAF 2. I, I could be, I could be the guy who did this to the suit, you know? Like, I, I could give Willie Mathen a stab or two, yeah, burn him a little. Uh, Spring Bonnie's got cake. And then he can kill me <laughs> afterward. Uh, I think only just have me screaming <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> or get jump scared by Foxy. Yeah. So. Yo, it's the. It's just the way the suit's been aged as well. It's just, mm. it's gonna look so good. So it's bad cupcake like the pseudonym for this film, or is it uh, the actual name? It's the, um... Code name? name. Oh, got you. Ah. Uh, oh, the eyes are one. Hold on. Let's go have a look. Yeah. We're going to go get the remote control, so let's see if we can turn it on. For turn it on? That's crazy. What's this over here? God Orch dang! Oh, Freddy. Oh, you got like, what is island. that? What is that suit? Orch <laughs> Arnold. It's it called the Tina. Tina, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Tina? Hi, Tina. Tina. Hey, Tina. Yeah, Tina. Yeah, Tina. Yeah, Tina. He just named the endoskeleton. That's funny. Oh. <laughs> Ellis there. That's, uh, now, who is this? That's they're going to turn up, try and put her into. Yeah. Have wow. you noticed that Sparky's looking a little, uh, rough? Hey, okay. <laughs> I can't. We'll personally make sure he's still in the chat. We gotta... We can't let him get away with it. <laughs> we can't let Raz get away with it, man. Man, this thing's looking a little rough. Like, when I find you, Raz, when I find you... I can't laugh at that, man. Sparky the dog is, not, is gonna be least your oh, worries, man. No man said, oh, what wow. is this useful? <laughs> Dorko, put your face in it. It'll be good for the fun, though. Wow. Oh, the eyes, too. Man, the eyes are moving. Wow. wow. I, mean, I mean, why is this for, is this for torturing? Like, actually torturing? I think it's dental so. care in America. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. This is dental care in the UK. He said, I'm a dip really? after that joke. Really? Enjoy the rest. Oh, he was still here. <laughs> yeah. All right, later, rounds. It is kind of like does it get used? Like, does it actually kill somebody? Well, remember that chair where somebody was strapped? Yeah. Was strapped yeah. Up and down. So cool. Ooh, nah, that'll be where it's so used. Cool. Man was hiding in the dark. William Afton's been busy. <laughs> oh, it goes back the way. Oh, <laughs> Have them rotate in different ways. Absolutely. So we can like stars and the gears and then this is our shops creature shops logo you know i, oh, I, I didn't want to sound oh, dumb yeah. but I, it, oh, yeah. I, I didn't want to sound dumb when i when i first seen it but like bro i, I didn't know it actually moved like i, I thought it was cgi too <laughs> um roblox art studios love easter eggs very nice yeah, yeah. Well, scott loves fun. easter eggs too so mm. i have to check out docos i'm gonna check out everybody's because apparently there's something awesome. new in each of them you guys go into the the shop that's behind the stage i think why did william create this that, well, like like they never explained a lot of films yeah, yeah. saw that yeah that was crazy. Crazy. i don't know why why so why did william do this like why did he kill people because oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like clearly they have one ripped off yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you just duct tape it <laughs> Oh, you see it from this. Side. Oh my lord, you can see it through the mouth. That's crazy. Oh, here we go, we're back for day two, baby! And we pretty much just lived here for an entire Love week. There is so outs. much footage to go over, and because Universal and Scott and Blumhouse were very cool and chill about us being here on set, then we just took advantage of it. So, this is day two's recording, and we were pretty much allowed to go and do whatever we wanted. We were allowed to oh, wander yeah. around on our own, now we get to see and what if they there hid. was something in particular we wanted to check out that suits, we missed the day the, before, the then we suits. were able to go and do it. But... This is where I was able to do a lot of exploring and find some secrets. So you're gonna oh, really enjoy Abby's this room? part. So if you enjoy that, go ahead and hit that like button, please. Yo, go ahead that's and do crazy. That. I really, really is appreciated. I think just as I'm watching this footage back, because I got a cameo in the.
Did Scott email you about your videos? Yeah, he. I was one of the first people to get um, Finance of Freddy's security breach. And um, I, I just woke up, just hopped on Discord, started chatting with my friends, and I just get an email. And then Scott, well, let me just read it. It, it, it was it, it was crazy. It, it felt like everything that I was doing for like seven years like led to like one of the craziest moments, bro. It was insane. You just, just Steam key for security breach. Uh. Let me see. Hey, he said, "Thought you might like a Steam key for security breach." Wink. I enjoyed your reaction videos over the last year. Oh, okay, so he, I, I didn't, I didn't remember that part. He said over the last year. Thank God. I thought he was out there watching my old, old, old videos. That'd have been terrible. Film. I was Mr. January over here on the Employee of the Month. Does that mean I'm canon in FNAF lore? Or at least FNAF movie lore? Is your boy, Mr. January, up here the best person for the job in Jan- oh, Am I still alive? Oh, oh, it was my canon event. I got spring locked, didn't I? Canon you just saw event. the footage. Oh, well. R.I.P. No. Me. Anyway, enjoy the rest. Because, like, what, what did happen to y'all? Because, like, were y'all just on the wall for an Easter egg? Or did y'all, like, or did something happen to y'all before? We find out they finna be in FNAF too. The fridge. Just down here. So one of the animatronics came through here as well. I know so his canon event was a spring line. Of Freddy, well, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 That's so why you mentioned being it. sussy and coming through the vents. But it was just amazing. The whole of the set. As you can see here, it's a little bit bigger than the original FNAF 1 office. But the attention to detail going around, especially you'll see on the mirror back here. It's me. It's saying, it's me. Mike didn't it's even acknowledge really that. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I think I know who wrote that. I don't want to worry you guys, but I got a spooky feeling somebody's watching. Like, I am out yeah, here. Nice 16 man out. watching you from the door On frame. the show stage. You got the whole pizzeria behind me. I'm just here vibing with the crew. I'm part of the band, baby. Next section. Let's go and look up the back. Oh, right cool. in the arcade. Here we go. We've got some more beautiful posters on the wall up the back. Those posters here. look nice. Look how realistic they sell those. and authentic they look. We've got some arcade machines here. The standard ones, nothing particularly yeah, FNAF related. However, up the back, we got ourselves a ball pit. Yes, Man, I they love this that ball pit. Some reference. I mean, it's got to get used at some point. There is no way this ball pit and the significance of ball pits have in the FNAF lore that this is not getting used. Like. I'm privy to a lot of information to do with the film. So I haven't heard anything about this yet, so I completely forgot I'm looking forward into to the see pit. What there. Was it a time machine? No shoes in the ball pit though. That the, took the, a kid back to the missing children's incident, guy. right? Looks like some sort of yeti or something over here. Are we gonna get stuffed? Oh, please. <laughs> you ain't been in the background. He did the thing again. He did the thing. <laughs> now they're both doing the thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm back on the stage. And I'm all, all I alone swear I thought moment. Bonnie's eyes move. Um, I could have been tripping. Just, just Bonnie's looking at me. Mine's playing tricks on me, I think. Bye forever. This room over here is Abby's wow. room over here. The star of the show. Look at that. And wow. It just, I mean, it's just a normal kid's bedroom until you look at the pictures. Look at some of these down here. Look at that. Here you go. This has got to be some sort of lore it's stuff. It's crazy seeing the room as this a is set. Like human versions of the. You got, you got Foxy on the left, and then you got Freddy. You got Chico. I'm sorry. I, I know I'm going to sound like the world's biggest, 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 biggest idiot asking, but like. Over here. So, like, wh wh the, the room is like a set. Okay, I can see that now. But like in the movie, it looked like it looked like a whole house that they just rented from the movie on a street. So like, what, what, how the hell do they do that? Like, what do they surround the place in a in a green screen box and then just put the footage in an actual neighborhood and make it seem like they're in a fucking neighborhood or some shit? How, how the hell do they make it look like a real neighborhood? I, I don't know how to make movies. I don't know what it is to be Hollywood over here, the star of the show. I thought this was like and in a whole ass wow. neighborhood. They're they're in it a just, set. I mean, it's just a normal kid's the, bedroom until you look at the pictures. Look at some of these down here. Here you go. This has got to be some sort of lore stuff here. This is like human versions. That's of trippy the, as hell. Foxy on the left, 
and then you got Freddy, you got Chica, you got Bonnie from the from the. I looks guess it of was things. green screen. I guess whatever's going on over Put here. Put a green screen box around the whole it. place. Man, and... Is that her dad? Maybe Ooh. with a slice of za in his hand, and she scribbled them out in anger. He said a Down slice of za. <laughs> we've got some more versions. They're more like the animatronics now from this picture over here. They kind of vaguely remember like people resemble people in a costume, but over here they really do look like the animatronics. Freddy, Foxy, Chica, And I Chica, think she made that Bonnie. after she met them in the movie, right? And then underneath you got some more versions. Like true identities. There we go, we've got somebody happy with the animatronics, the sun looking all cool. You got them all again supposed to be Mike up in the middle, here, so I think? it begs the question, did she know the animatronics before they became animatronics, as in the, uh, the, the souls? Was she friends with the kids? Who knows? Very interesting. Here we go. She looks like she's getting breakfast. And there's miserable in bed. Mike. <laughs> From I don't know who that is. Brother maybe? Is that Mike? Here we go. Over here, some more angry. Oh, that's when she got pissed. Faces. It's always this guy with the green shirt. This man Raz is seeing history. That's insane. And, uh, blue jeans over here. Looks like they were having said, I fun. I hate maybe you, Mike. I hate you. In some sort of fort, a little tent, which I think might be this thing that's over in the corner. It looks like she's got a fort. With some more pictures over here. We got a cat, an elephant, spider, pig, a new animatronics confirmed. And we got uh, a race car. Mr. So pig's a new animatronic confirmed. We got a closet over here. I feel bad for snooping. Just seeing if there's any more Easter eggs. Just looks like a. Just a general prop dressings. I don't know if there's anything particularly significant they even here. set up the closet, you know. even though this is like a whole set. But this is just, it's very cool. It's oh, just sketch, just yeah, very, extra sketch just, things. just 90s Not old enough products. to know what the hell that is. Very simple, but very colorful, and it shows the, the, the light, bubbly personality. Happy <laughs> enters the room. Who are the you, character, people? Which is very cool, this character. It's a very sinister balloon, balloon girl over here. Balloon Girl Imagine confirmed spring the game. appears in FNAF 2. He says Very it's nice spring trap in time. A little bit of rain I over probably here. Die. Very cool. On the corridor over here, we actually got Mike's room. It's all darkened. Not a great deal going on, but you can tell this. You can tell this man works out. He's got a gym I don't think I've seen that in the bed. film. He was pumping yeah, iron. pretty much him. I don't want to turn any lights on or anything. But I think everything's just fairly... Fairly simple. I don't think there's anything important in here apart from the man works out. So when he fights the animatronics, you know he's gonna. Oh, he's your boy. <laughs> Watching this footage back selfies. now that we know the ending and how everything transpired in the FNAF movie, gluing. Why? <laughs> like, bro, bro, why? Watching this footage back now that we know the ending and how everything transpired in the FNAF movie, gluing through Abby's room and having a look at the pictures and the significance they actually hold is a truly different experience. Because louder. when I was originally walking through this room, I was just speculating. I knew absolutely nothing about the pot at this point. So to discover that she was able to see Raz? the souls of the kiddos, it was, it was... I just realized Raz's video might have like the most content in it because like nobody else was with him. Um, when he was checking out these rooms. Absolutely insane. They were her uh, imaginary friends, if, if you want to put it that way. But they were really, it was quite Bro was dark the only one who fell outside the box and walked to the other The fact that she was set. able to see these kiddos and their spirits. Uh, see if that's it, true, it, it, it was, it was, it was really nice going through a room. And obviously, it was Mike that she was scribbling out on all those pictures. I wasn't able to know that at the time, but we saw it in the film and. That was obviously foreshadowing the ending in which she changed the picture and then the animatronics obviously saw William as the, as the big body and not some sort of helpful yellow rabbit friend. And it was it was really, really interesting how to he, see how that, that all that's went. That's what I don't understand, nice right? How the, okay, so Vanessa specified that when he killed them, he took something from them. Okay, like... I, I, what did he take? Their memories through through remnant or something like that? Cause like the first half of the plan was to put a picture up there so the yellow rabbit looks like their friend. Okay, how did he take their memories? You would think they remembered that they died. Like we we need more of William's otherworldly techniques explained in the next film.
walking through and the contrast between her bedroom and Mike's bedroom obviously she's just a kiddo she's quite lively and bubbly and she draws pictures then you look at Mike's room which is dark and sad and lonely and with nothing in there it's kind of it's a nice reflection of their two personalities so it's really cool seeing all this footage back as well so here we are back for day three we've been lucky enough once again thank you very much to everybody involved it's still surreal being able to come in here and see them in not in I don't know, there's something so weird about much, the rock star music. I mean, the this is how it would be. glam rock in music being played in the background. You get a slice of eye, you're just in there with your Feels family. Like it fits. You lose your child, and you come and see Foxy. But he's a good guy. Look how tall he is, man. But it wouldn't have been him. Look at that hook. No, nah, Foxy's a bad guy. Look at him toes. Terrible, They're man. They're all looking fantastic. It's a terrible, as well. terrible man. It's just how realistic they look. My enemy. One to one. Models, as I've already said before, but seeing them up close, I mean, you're just seeing their toes now. I mean, some of you will probably like that, but let's go and have a look at the rest up a bit closer. Oops, I, I switched to the wrong camera. I, I meant to do this when he said, all right, anyway. Just seeing them all on the stage, and then you got a cupcake as well. Good old Carl, look at him. Toys? Wait, there's more than one person saying toys in the chat. Are we serious? That's what he took from them? They're fucking toys after he killed them, so that's why they don't remember things? Just... You know what? Now that you say it, I think Vanessa did have um, Garrett's airplane in the picture when she showed him who William Afton was. Hey, old Freddy. Big Daddy Bear. And you got Bonnie over here. Got the guitar this time. I must have missed in it. In his hands. And they're all just... They're all looking good. Just the size of their... It's a joke. Oh, body. okay. I'm 5'11", and these guys are dwarfing me. See inside his mouth. Got the endo in there as well. The endo really looks like a xenomorph good. mouth, man. Got a corpse inside well, second mouth one. they have. <laughs> I feel like the cupcake's looking at... You look delicious. Hey, yo. Looking good. We'll, we'll look at them from behind real quick. As and then well, she could so have the rusty battery back there. Proper 3D. I really loved how they made them no look tricks. ghetto. These are all full. Like, I, I know I said this when I first reacted to it, but I, I really love how they made them look ghetto, but at the same time, like, perfect. It, it, they, they, the creature house killed it, or the creature shop killed it. Seriously. Holy big old suits that you can get inside as well so the part animatronic part robot part suit you can get in there you can wear them you've got all the show lights behind it looks exactly like the fnaf one trailer if you've seen it kissing the this man's over here making out with bonnie like Not we wouldn't notice say they've, uh, kiss the freddy fazbear over here chica baby girl this is it's people's dreams. One of the cupcake's jaws just snapped. There we are. He was in the middle of kissing. If this get, was that? I mean, what it fell right. Oh, off. I've seen what Carl does. I've seen what you do in this, you little savage. Yeah, you know, sussy boy. But just it's some good scenes, bro. especially with a cupcake. Really good scenes so far from what we've seen being recorded, which is epic, and what we've heard script-wise. You're gonna love it, and and if you don't. Then you're obviously sad. <laughs> <laughs> gonna leave, gonna leave Freddy with uh, something to think about. Um, oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Guess you'll just have to bear with me. That's the second one, Raz. That's the second one. Get off the stage. <laughs> Get off the stage, yeah. <laughs> Y yes to whoever we said that. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. <laughs> Look at this entrance. This is a part that I've um, not seen yet. I don't know why. I don't know how I've managed to miss it. I was looking at the other boys' footage and they were like, oh, did you check out the entrance? No. No, I didn't. Apparently not. So here we are. So this is the grand entrance before you go into the pizza plex itself over there. So let's have Damn. a Damn. <laughs> no, no wonder why Matthew Lyler would have to go like, like, like this walking in. Bro, how the hell is anybody past like four foot... Uh, two supposed to get get in there, bro. Like, I I would have to be like this walking in there. Jesus Christ.
How do workers even get in every day? Yeah. The back door? This is the grand right. entrance before you go into the pizza plex itself over there. So let's have a little look around here. So we've got the service desk where you come in, you're like, meter. yeah, I made a reservation. Mm. Freddie set entrance. me up in the VIP section right in his mouth. So he's going to dine on some frontal lobe. We've got some old uh, popcorn over here, an old popcorn machine. We've got some plushies up there. Go and have a look at them in a little bit more detail around the side afterwards. You've got an old school cash register. I'm going to rob that in a minute. Don't tell Bob yes, House. Sir. And we've got some posters over here as well. Still all the gang as well. Coming soon. Okay, so what's this? All new stage show extravaganza. Freddy Fazbear, wow. Chica, Foxy, and Bonnie performing all new songs. They really printed that. You That's won't insane. want to miss it. You definitely won't. You definitely won't. Oh. I don't even think you get to see this sign in the film, bro. And they just like and they just went crazy with the with the designs on it. Anyway. Okay, well we've seen a couple of songs, or at least they did not slack with the set. Well, we've bro. been here, we've seen them perform in some songs, and I'm telling you, they are looking real real good we've got just casual things over there so we can come in here let's have a look at the deals of the day baby token packages obviously you want to come in here you want to spend all your money on the fazbear memorabilia we've got some stuff best there deal best ever. deal ever wow <laughs> 500 game tokens and your child goes missing for six night oh i see what you've done there freddy nasty that's crazy 60 69 right oh this place is looking good okay so let's go around We'll come in, so we'll get the we'll get the pizzeria experience. So you've come through the main door. You're obviously not walking backwards, but you're coming in. You're coming through here. You see the the managers of Freddie Fazbear here. You got a uh, uh, more like the security yeah, guard. Yeah. Look at Daco's tall ass. Many years ago, you, need you got the bouncer shirt. Get out! I, I, Dang, I kicked him out. Hello, hello, uh, this is the manager here. Uh, you can't what be is here, that man. Voice? It's, it's closed. What is that voice saying? Ah! Why did he say man? Ow. I looked away for two seconds. Ah! <laughs> That's what I. <laughs> Leave that in. Just do that. That's assault, man. I'm calling the cops. That's but this is assault. What over happened, here that we're bro? still not checked out. Oh, what? Oh, actually, first, before we go to there, a little snippet. We're going to come back and check out these pictures in a minute because one on of them the is camera, very bro. important to the plot line. I'm not going to tell you what one. Anyway, we're gonna come back. We've got all the posters in the world over here. Now, let's come through here. Let's check out the front entrance desk. As you would expect, you've just got loads of different FNAF memorabilia. You've got Freddy, Chica, the plushies. The plushies, just man. All good. <laughs> Looks nice. Look at that, Chica. Oh, the place is just so well. The set is they even got popcorn so in there. Well. It looks Stale like this ass was popcorn. at one point a real pizzeria and a FNAF one at that. It's not just an old pizzeria. They've decided to chuck a couple of plushies in here and that. That's it. Everything is perfect. It all looks great. Thank you, uh, singing guy, for being a member for seven months. That is insanity. Right now, as I said, come back. Here what we was go. The We're in the I don't know. Let's come around and have a look at these pictures again. Something that I was wanting to look at for a couple of days. And we've just got a wall, just like in the games. Just lots of different Freddies and Chicas that the kids have drawn while they've been here. And they're so good. Now, this picture really right here is very special. Man. That one right there, that was, um, it's very key. Very, very key to the storyline. And it looks good. As the pictures, oh, you got Balloon Boy just popping in there, ha, ha, <laughs> laughing ha, ha. away. I hate that Balloon Boy, bro. <laughs> Balloon Boy's not even in FNAF one. But here we go, Rainbow yeah. Chica's Rainbow. So I guess, I guess Balloon Boy being in the film should have showed us that like FNAF two is definitely coming, because um, they have stuff from the other locations still in this building. So even if they didn't tell us the three movie deal, we would have knew. Everybody looking real good. Look at Freddy. These are good pictures. Foxy looking terrifying, man. My God. We've got the cupcake party. Wait, pizza, another Foxy. He's supposed to be drawn always, by like the eh? kids at the pizzeria and stuff. So why the hell did they draw Foxy with the hook bleeding? Dang. We've got the cupcake Someone's party. Someone's seen pizza, something. Foxy, That's a whole always, different eh? kid incident. Foxy. Just, just, people. Oh look. David. But David over here. Look at everybody's looking good. Everybody's looking fantastic. Toy Freddy Love picture. This pic. Look at look how <laughs> look at Spring Bonnie. So good. The golden rabbit. 
but as you can see here, it's just the normal animatronics, the ones that stick out are obviously Golden Rabbit Boy over here, Spring Bonnie, and Follow Balloon the Yellow Boy Rabbit. as well. Uh, I'm not sure how significant Balloon Boy is to this story, or if Balloon Boy's just in there as a little Easter egg, maybe hinting at things to come in the future. Poor as he doesn't, yeah, he does not know yet. Dying and down on some ice cream. And Those Balloon Boy jump scares are crazy. I think that's pretty much it's out of it. nowhere. That, 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 that we've seen this little bit extra. You've got a vent under there that gets used in the film. Very cool, very cool. And just the, the posters of the animatronics and just the haunting stage over here as the animatronics have van Film. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so Mike came out of that vent and then he hid behind one of these arcade machines, I think. And just the, the and posters then, of the animatronics. And at that point, Freddy was right here and he looked to see like what the noise was after Mike came out of the vent. How the fuck didn't he not see Mike? Just the whole Those arcade machines are definitely not enough to hide Mike. Freddy could just see him from up there. Hunting stage over here. Mike got that plot armor the for real. If it was anybody else, they would have died. Especially Foxy. You saw a scene with him. Foxy should have seen him too. Down the halls at full pale, and it looks incredible. Honestly, the things we have seen these animatronics do, they are. They're terrifying. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of lost at this point in time, and I've just been walking. Wait, they got Foxy up there with something connected in his back? That's how he stands upright? Okay. Oh. They're terrifying. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of. My bad. I didn't mean to hit my mic like that. <laughs> lost at this point in time, and I've just been walking through the back rooms of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, and I've suddenly just stumbled across. <laughs> My boy over here. Look at that. Thanks again, guy, for the $10 donation. Yo, y'all better start saying stuff when y'all donate, too, man. Makes me feel bad. Say a funny message or something. I don't know. You've got the endoskeleton there. He's just been filmed for a scene. It's a very cool scene from what we've Don't mind seen. me. I'm just awkward. The way these guys work is just its just perfect. You, you're going to love it. Go and watch it. Oh, now this was a special moment. We were we absolutely go. blessed and graced by the presence of Kevin, Jade, and Jess, who were the actors that played Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. And wow, what a conversation huh? we had with them. We asked them a couple of questions. Oh, yeah. They were able to then go ahead. I did, I did hear that at some points they had to... um add human capture into it because sometimes the animatronics couldn't do things that a person could teach us how to become animatronics and what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna My God. i'm gonna tease you a little bit you'll get a couple of the little highlights Yo, they, and they, then they, what they, they was killing that shit look <laughs> look at them though like, i'm gonna i'm gonna tease you a little bit you'll get a couple of the little highlights it. and then what i'm gonna do is we're, we're gonna have a separate video because this chat deserves a video by itself an interview with the actors of yeah. the animatronics the people who made they the iconic characters come to life and as you've already seen in the film, they did such an amazing job. So look forward to that at the end of next week. But now, oh, there's more what content. We've got. Depending on okay, let's do this shit. I love to see it. Can't wait. In the suit. How long can you be in the suit before they're like, nope, we have to have a break? Yeah, no, there is, there's definitely, there's a 15, 15 minute part kind of like, okay, now we're, we've reached the 15 minute part. Yeah. And it's from the time you put on the, the heads. And yeah. And then we kind of time it out. We'll, you know, we'll push it. Okay, funny message. No, you you could have, you, you didn't have to donate with a dang. Now I feel bad more. <laughs> no, but thanks for the five dollars. Now I was trying to say like, whenever you do donate, just make sure you say something funny. I, I don't know. I just I just feel bad. There's no there's no legal. Just taking your money, but like there's no yeah, message kind of under it. It's just through Andy as some coordinator and us saying okay. Yeah. How long do we want to spend in these? Okay, 15, yeah. 20 minutes is a good time before, you know, we can I want to make sure I get to highlight you properly when you donate. Yeah. Yeah. It, it does depend on what we're doing, too. Some yeah. movements or yeah. positions are harder than others. And sometimes we do push it a lot. And especially, too, you know, we've kind of been talking about it. You said, well, that's we too damn bad. Yeah, yeah, you got one shot left. Yeah. It's like, let's just power just, through and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. get out of here, you know? Yeah. Um, Dang, power but through and get out of here. There was another time where I was doing something that was really straining. Yeah, it's straining. It's about three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I, I go one left. <laughs> I'm glad Raz decided to, like, do an interview for these guys, too. Because, like, yeah, you know, you see you see everybody on Twitter, including me, we're all like, yeah, Vanessa's hot, bro. Like, that actor was great. And then you got, like, the other side saying, you know, Josh was, I think that's his name. Josh, who was playing his mic, is, is great, too. 
Yeah, yeah. one more. We never, we never talk about these three. One. Who actually yeah, did some of the movies for the other I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> 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 I was like, I didn't want to call it. <laughs> but, I, but I had to. I was like, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's it's really. I didn't easy. have to add the Vanessa part. I did. And then we adjust from there. But it's really nice because yeah, yeah, when the fifteen and twenty comes and they're like, oh, we have to get the heads off. We're like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 fifteen twenty yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. They take the heads off. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, That's insane. Yeah. 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 I noticed that it was like once I get out of the the helmet or the head and the backpack, like my posture backpack. completely changed. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, oh. oh I feel so much love. Yeah. yeah, it does feel good. But so how long did you spend with uh, the backpack? Uh, Dang it. for the like, movements and stuff? Did you study any of the games to see what the movements were yeah. like? Yeah, we studied the games, watched some YouTube videos. Um, we had a four-week rehearsal here. And that's where we're gonna leave it for today. I'm Dang, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I've absolutely left you on a massive cliffhanger there. But honestly, what they say and no, their research and stuff. That, that cliffhanger was great. I got to hear that they actually studied the games. Like you, you can tell, like when they when they got these actors on this film, they said we gotta make sure we did this shit right. So it's good to see that the actors are like, yeah, we we had to study into that. Into how they became the FNAF animatronics and, and the love they have for the characters. Him, who's dude in the middle moving like Freddy? Look at the dude with the thinking that he has the guitar like Bonnie, and then. She it's so incredible, it needs on. its own video, plus they taught us how to be animatronics, and well, That's we were crazy. a billion times worse than them, but it was really fun. So next weekend, or at the end of next week, we are going to have that video, so be a looking out for it. Subscribe with notification bell on, because you don't want to miss that video. Anyway, back on to the final part of the vlog. Oh, it's going to be so sad. Well, oh, here we go, on. ladies and gentlemen, last day here on uh, the Five Minutes of Freddy's movie Damn, set. Yeah, really looks like he's about Freddy to cry. Freddy Fazbear's, uh, yeah, unfortunately, so I'm going to say goodbye to me, I... I broke rules four and six, broke and I'm getting turfed out. I've been told never Damn. to come back, especially because of rule four. And uh, yeah, but just so have one final goodbye to the set. Everything's looking fantastic. It's all set up for another scene. I love the lighting. The lighting's so good. <laughs> it's amazing. You've got the uh, the stage over there. You've got the pinball machine in the background. It's like. It's like I'm really here at Five Nights at Freddy's. Over in the hallway, again, had a very important scene, very cool. Um, oh my gosh. It was very cool the way they did it is for the, the opening scene. Doing, so when you go and see it, you'll know the one we're talking about. The first night guard. Oh, poor guy. Poor, yeah, guy. poor guy. But yeah, overall, the whole place is... Poor I guy, love untapped. the lighting. I still can't get over how cool the whole thing looks. It's just... It's just beautiful. Darko's just come in and he's talking about me being up on the stage. Damn! <laughs> he's burning. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Like, I had to look twice just to see he got a. a, 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 a yeah, you, you get it. I, I can't even talk because I'm laughing too hard. But, bro got a. Bro got. Bro got. Bro got spotlight in his face, uh -huh. Uh -huh. all in his eyes. <laughs> He's burning. Bro seen <laughs> heaven's like gate with all that damn light Muffy in his baby. face. Hello. Oh, yeah. Just seeing how it's sad that, that, that we're, yeah. we're, fi we're finally getting kicked off the set. Yeah, it's really sad. But we've I'm had a great time. We have, we really have. Really and have. We're so fortunate that Scott invited us along and everybody over at Blumhouse was cool with us being here. And we took advantage. Yeah. Like we've been here every day. Every day we could have been here from the start. To the end, we've seen incredible things, and honestly, think they've done the fans proud. Mm -hmm. Like they really wanted to stick to how it was all in the games, and they've done such a good job at that. Bye, guys. I'm gonna cry, man. Goodbye. In fact, no, I'm gonna go get spring locked in a suit so that I uh, don't have to leave. Second Bye. time you said that. <laughs> Come here. Oh my god. No, for real. This is deep. It's nah, no wonder, second time he said that. He's that definitely getting spring logs. You get lost. I'm exhausted. I'm standing. <laughs> Are you actually? No. <laughs> but if I did try and stand, you just keep slipping. Oh, some balls are falling no out. Now that's crazy. I put myself upside down. What, what's, what's crazy as hell is I know damn well after they came out the ball pit, you know, the Blumhouse workers were like, <laughs> you better go find all them damn balls and put them back. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Like, I'm in a weird position now. 
I think I think I'm actually staying here. <laughs> I can just imagine it like, you know, that was all fun and games. <laughs> Put them damn balls back now. Like genuinely. Yeah. I mean, so... I'll be terrified. I try to mess up nobody's movie. Right about my face just now, there's going to be the part one back. of the movie vlog. I urge you to go and check that out if you haven't already, or maybe you want to go and watch it again. Who knows? But you definitely want to see it because there's stuff in that video that was not in this one. So you need to watch them both to get the full picture of what was going mm. on behind the scenes. But either way, I, definitely watched all of them. I want to get a massive shout out to Starforge Systems, the best PCs in the universe down in the description below. Click that link if you're looking for a new PC because I will never go to anybody else. And that's a fact. Unbelievable. Smash that like button and I'll see you in another video. I'm Ron Raspowski. You've been the beautiful Raspberries as always for watching and I'm a big old Why so serious? Are you genuinely mad about disagreeing with theories about funny bear game? Find a life. What are you talking about? I didn't even say anything about a theory. All right, we're gonna watch docos. I'm definitely gonna watch all of them. I might skip around if they're all doing the same thing though. But hey guys, welcome. I definitely do got to see like what they were all up to, man. Uh... 8-Bit Ryan. Did he post his yet? Yeah. Oh, this time he actually got 35 minutes. Oh, snap. Last oh. time he didn't. Does Baz have the exact same amount of time? Oh, snap. No, he has 19 minutes. Yikes. Come back to part two of the FNAF movie set vlog. Like I said in the first episode, this contains some spoilers that we were not allowed to include in the first vlog a week before the movie released. But now the movie's out. Hopefully you guys have seen it. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. There will be a spoiler review on the channel soon. This video uh -oh. will include all of the things that were not included in the first vlog. Showing Spring Bonnie, Torture Freddy, also some extra parts as well that I didn't include in the first vlog. Okay, so Darko went to the room and too. Everything that wasn't so everyone had their own the separate vlog. reactions to I really his recommend room you guys watching part one like first. That. I'll put a link in the description. Here it is, guys. This is the final video vlog of visiting the FNAF movie set and all of the spoilers. Really? Discovery's oh. a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's spoiled. He <laughs> no. <laughs> you can tell Hollywood would be kind of scaring people with how tight lipped they need to be on some stuff because his face does kind of look like he's a little bit like, no, no, <laughs> shit. I should have said that. Oh, like he, was, he was jokes, but there was like mm. an inkling of actual fear in there. Oh my god, what happened to that poster? Oh man. Takes us into the dining room. Yeah. Oh. Is that Bonnie's head? Oh man. Imagine falling asleep in your bed and just waking up here. How terrified would you be? It has better moments when it's not full of equipment, but you get the idea. Oh yeah, because um, they're building a fort, right? Yes. That's what Scott said. Oh, the freaking that uh, just Scott. down here, I just realized. Is that? Oh, oh they're on the floor. <laughs> wait, <laughs> <just> so... <laughs> wait, wait a fucking second. So you're telling me, at this point, they were only allowed to see the set, but they never seen the movie, which means they came in, and that day Scott said, oh, the animatronics are building the fort, don't worry about them being on the floor. Like, and that's all, and that's all they could go off of. Like, they had no other context, just, don't worry about them, they're just building a fort. <laughs> Sounds about Scott. Oh, yeah. The animatronics are on the floor. They're just chilling, they're just Sounds about right. Yeah, we just, we just shot an overhead shot. That would be so weird hearing that, like, don't worry about it. Just fort oh, building. Wow. Look. No. Oh, God. They're just vibing. Look at them. Look at them just chilling. All of them are down there. That is awesome. Oh, she's... I need an actual oh, behind-the-scenes no video from the way. creator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no it's the hex. Really, Blumhouse really needs to drop a behind-the-scenes documentary or something, because, like, I gotta see this. That's gotta make you... That's oh, my me goosebumps. God. Yo, let's not cause drama in the chat, by the way. Like, literally, you guys are out here talking about FNAF theories and stuff. Like, it doesn't matter. Let's just watch the behind-the-scenes and stop talking about it. Your hex brushes. Yeah. yeah. Got a cameo. Yeah, look. Wow. Right there. Oh, man. Is this the, this is the prize corner, right? Ever win the prizes? 
Oh man. That's so cool though. Hex merch is in the film. I like the glass. Yeah, the, the stained glass. So cool. Here's the kitchen. Let's have a look at the menu. Wait, if we finally see it for once. Look at this. Yeah, there's some cool stuff on the menu. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, the actual Fazbear menu. Bonnie's family special. Wow. I thought he was wearing the head for a second. I heard a noise. Like a robot noise. <laughs> Me when I went out. Fuck. I heard movement. Why they got him on the on the mannequin though? What happened to Bonnie? I just heard. I just heard a blink. Hold up. They're gonna come alive and kill us now. <laughs> the showtime button. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it? Wonder if it does anything. Yo, press that button for real. They ain't even watching. <laughs> no touchy. Oh wow. It is. It's, it's, it's exactly how it looks, isn't it? The, yeah, it is. Clouds, it, yeah. The clouds in the background. Yeah. They couldn't invite me to this, bro. Now, now that I like realize how clumsy I am, bro. Some way, somehow, I would have fell on the showtime button. And, Everything would have just like got messed up. I think some. I think the blinking. Oh, his eyes are moving. Oh, Freddy's so eyes are moving. Yeah, no, no, oh, they actually are. Bro, he's looking. <gasps> he's literally peeping at us. He is. Have him look over here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh my gosh. gosh. Look at them. Everybody. Freddy's toes. <laughs> <laughs> he got razzed talking about toes. The only one in the room talking about toes, bro. So cool. It's hilarious after so coming from that vlog. Cool. This is just a This is a good four. Why Bonnie's ear on Freddy's head like move, bro? You got all the space. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. The toasters. Pinball machines. So cool, man. Oh, it's a slide that goes into the ball pit. Oh, yeah. There's got to be a ball pit scene with the animatronic in here or something. Oh, yeah, that's broken. So this is where what would you do if you were at the FNAF movie set? Yeah, I don't even know, man. I'd definitely dropkick Foxy. No, I definitely wouldn't. But, like, I'd dropkick Foxy. I didn't break this one, though. Didn't steal the plushies. Just in the corner. Oh yeah, we got Toy Freddy there as well. Oh my gosh! So when you when you leave the dining room, I got a vendetta against Foxy, man. <sighs> Mr. Mustachio, I hope you know Raz is just kidding. I hope you weren't serious. Raz is just a jokester. He's a funny guy. <sighs> Oh, endoskeleton. Yeah. Oh yes. This one right there he is. <laughs> That's what like a torture head. A, a torture, torture head. head. Oh yeah, I can see can inside. See oh, oh, is this um, Freddy Shadow Freddy. Freddy? No, no, it's no. Just, just a new. I'm calling that tin Torture Freddy. Freddy. Oh, is it like a Halloween kind of? Wow. Well, yeah, the mask on and then so that yeah. Garbage can yeah. Freddy. Yeah. 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 This Freddy has been thrown away, beaten up over the years. So He's been out for too long. It moves, it all turns on, everything really? spins. Um, it goes up and down. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, come on then. <laughs> oh, oh, there. Oh. Okay, so it's like kind of roughly the same thing this time around, so... I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Just kind of scroll through. Someone did say that... Daco's video had a massive difference because he blurred something out. But I'm gonna just go to parts that look interesting. Yeah, Tina. Nice to meet you, Tina. Tina. So cool. <gasps> Sparky! <laughs> Sparky the dog! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Daco did blur something out, right? Right as I said it, too. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> um, what was he blurring? I, I don't know why I'm rewinding, like, I'm gonna know. So cool. What was he blowing? Sparky! Sparky, Sparky the, dog. the dog! It looks purple. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> it's probably Shadow. Yeah, it's probably Shadow, uh, Freddy. Looks purple as hell. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! We've already seen this. Oh, is it Ella? Ella's there. That's uh, creepy. That's the one they're gonna turn her, try and put her into. That looks yeah. terrifying as hell. I noticed that Sparky's looking a little uh, rough. Good. It looks like he forgot to blur out this too. Unless that's Bonnie's foot. What is that? And then what the hell is that? I don't know what this green one is. Really? Ah, okay. Lewis, if you threw enough money that way, just ask for a crop. I recovered it. Ah, for that one, right, I see. I can kind of see the shape now. Which is what they yeah. would do in real life anyway, wouldn't mm -hmm. they? They would just repurpose their... Oh, here we go. This is on if you want to see it. I'm so confused though. Yeah, if this was meant to be like a spoiler thing, since we'd already seen the movie at this point. Torture Freddy, yeah. Why would Shadow Freddy be blurred? Oh, wow. What is this used for? <laughs> Dorko, put your face in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the oh, eyes too. So we've seen that. Oh, they made him withered looking as well. That's the shot of the sign. Yeah. I think yeah. they showed this in the last vlog too. Hi guys. Oh, this the office. This is the office right here. See if you've done anything different in this Oh one. look, in the mirror. It's, who is it though? Who is it? That's it's a good point. me. You? Uh, it might be you, mate. Oh, okay. Okay, it's that's me. fine. <laughs> that's fine. Damn. It's always been Ryan the whole time. This is a scene with the it. cupcake that we watched yesterday. Yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna no watch it okay. after the film. Let's see Are we then. gonna die then? I don't know why, but the vents look cleaner, like, in the set than they do in the... in the movie. Vents <laughs> oh look clean as hell. press it. Oh, dusty. You press it, Freddy will come after you. After you. I'm gonna pull it then. Don't pull the generator switch. <laughs> Imagine they pull it, all the lights go off. Security like all the recording baby. shuts off. They Let's lose go. like they lose like a half an hour worth of FNAF footage. Eight bit Ryan was the cause of redacted finance of Freddy's footage. They'd be mad as hell. Your kids can play forever. Oh no! Look at this. Forever is crazy. I have sand in my hair. The Leaning Tower of Pizza. We are back in the kitchen, everybody. So we've already been here, if you remember yesterday, but we've got more, we can do what we want basically now. We've got permission to cook some pizza, if you didn't know, and if you look closely, With what? through where you deliver the pizzas, you can see the animatronics there waiting for us. Hello. Hi! You shouldn't be here. Uh, what do you want? for some grub. Oh, uh, what do you have? Um, we've got Freddy's Pizza, Chica Surprise, Bonnie's Burgers. Okay, guys. Bonnie's Burgers. We're at the FNAF Pizzeria, as you can see. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, Let me take you a tour. Tour around, okay? <laughs> so here we have Pirate's Cove without Foxy. That was awkward. Because he's right there. We'll say hello in a minute. The silence so, is crazy. Yeah, this is the stage for Foxy. But if you look behind, you can see some of the animatronic heads in the background there. Bonnie and Freddy. Spooky. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. And obviously we've got the main stage here. Um, Chica. It's so it's still here, unreal as hell. They just are see filming them. something where they're and doing I seen a bit the of a movie. Dance, it's still unreal uh, with Abby. Uh, but let's say hello to Foxy first. So you can see, Foxy. It's got. Uh, what? Cake. You see, Foxy's got like this. What is this Bruh. called? It's a crane operation system. A crane I think. operation system. Uh, because, because why do they have a crane? Okay. <laughs> because Foxy's like full robot. Why do they have a crane on him though? What happened? Fully controlled by somebody, which is really cool. I can't remember all this the, scene. All of the animatronics are, but some of the scenes is actually actually people inside. Uh, but Foxy's too thin for that, as you can see. Look at his legs. His endo legs, super thin. Uh, but yeah, you can see that the. Animatronics look absolutely amazing. Spot on from the first game. It's crouched a little bit though. Then moving on to the left, you can see Chica here. Once again, looking absolutely amazing. Um, uh, but yeah, we've I got think, permission. I think they probably have like a crane and Foxy probably because um, maybe somebody has to wear his suit to do an animatronic human movement 
Uh, I can actually go on the stage, which feels really weird. The only reason I can assume he's the only But I'm going to do it, and hopefully I don't fall over, because those steps look pretty big, and I'm really clumsy. <coughs> I'm going to go up. <laughs> <laughs> He's Bonnie the Bunny. He's just standing there. Looking absolutely amazing. Default posing. Um, with no guitar. I wonder where that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and to the left is the OG. The wonderful Freddy Fazbear. The one and only OG. I'm really starstruck right now. I don't really know what to say. Um, but again, all of the animatronics look absolutely amazing. Jim Henson, company, you've done an amazing job. Well, let me take you around. In the movie, Foxy's just a suit. I don't think Foxy can stand stably on his own. That's crazy. Somewhere to the other places, to the stages there. Pinball machines. This is the arcade area. Look now, I, I gotta see bloopers of Foxy nearly falling down because they didn't know he needed, like, a, a crane in the back at the time. That'd be so fucking funny just to see him literally just go... And then, like, like five people scrambling to pick him back up. Looking absolutely amazing. Before so you can fell see... How big the set actually is. They haven't just done it in little sections and stuff. It's the whole pizzeria set. So, dining area, prize corner, I'll take you there in a minute. The restrooms, the stage, the animatronics. Obviously, Foxy should be there. Chica should be on stage. But like I said, they're doing a scene uh, where Abby's dancing with the animatronics. Arcade area here. Here is the ball pit. So, there's a really cool ball pit in here. I'm guessing... There's going to be a scene in the ball pit, I'd guess like an animatronic or something, pulling somebody under or dragging them out or something into the pit. Uh, you've got to include that. If you're wondering why the place is trashed, um, it's because some thugs have came in and destroyed the machines and stuff. Um, so there's a lot of shattered pinball machines, etc. Some old arcade games and stuff over there. A crane machine. Fun fact, if you look closely, you can see the Toy Freddy Hex plushie. Okay, oh, so, hex. like I said, we've came from there, walked over mm. here to the stage, up the stage, really awkward with Bonnie and Freddy. I don't think they like me. Came over here, Texas ball Canada pit, in the Universe. looping That's back crazy. round, and coming down to the stairs. Look at the carpet as well. The carpet's awesome. There's Raz recording his vlog. Um, so, we've came from down here to the arcade, some more mini games there. Look at all these drawings as well. Iconic in the FNAF series, drawings on the wall, looking awesome, look at that, Spring Bonnie, very cool, Chica, oh if you look closely as well, Chica. in the dining area, um, stained glass windows of all of the animatronics, I think you see that in the, uh, the Chuck E. Cheese places as well, so there's Chica, there's Bonnie, if you're wondering what this is, they're building a fort uh, for the plot of the movie, which is really cool, um, Here's the prize corner as well, and like I said, the hex plushies are here, guys, in the prize corner, it. which you might see in the movie, which is really cool, and all of the funny merch from the past, remember the Halloween masks and stuff of the animatronics, which is really cool, and some of the funny merch. We've got, oh, we've got the Sanchi badges as well, so some really cool prizes from like the OG 2015 days of the merch. Stained glass of Freddy Fazbear, how much merch they actually and over there film. is the stained glass the of Foxy. Was. Here is the kitchen. Uh, I showed you the kitchen earlier. We were inside of the kitchen. Um, so this is where you order the pizza. If you check the menu, all of the menu there. Always fresh you oven baked. Uh, a Bonnie's family special, Freddy's pizzas, Chica's wings, wings etc. Restrooms are there. Freddy stained glass, and I'll go up there to Foxy. And Raz is over there which is really cool with the animatronics. Um, well, yeah, this is the whole pizzeria area. <laughs> Haven't been in this area yet. Ooh, okay. So this looks like it's gonna be the main entrance. Yes, it is. This is the main entrance to the pizzeria. And this is the reception desk, which is really cool. Look at all the detail as well, man. It's so cool. We've even got... <laughs> he shreds! <laughs> Bonnie on his guitar with the... That's crazy, huh? Uh, with the cups. Like the detail the they put even on the merchant cups. Probably to have your sodas in. All the security cameras as well. There's a bunch of security cameras around the location. 
Just like FNAF 1. There's a welcome sign. What is this? Coming soon. All new stage. All new stage show. That's interesting. It says coming soon. So let's walk inside, guys. I know Daco had to do like... Yeah. Had to bend over a little bit. That looks way too small for anybody to answer. So we came from there, looped back round. We can walk down here. This is some of the cool stuff. So this is the corridor that leads to the office. The kitchen's over there. I showed you the kitchen. If you carry on walking down though, and you turn to the left, this is the office that Michael's going to be in, the security, security office. And it looks absolutely amazing. I hope, so I ain't gonna lie to you though, I do hope in the next film, they can do like a 1-1 a reconstruction of the security office. I feel like, I feel like a 1-1 one -one reconstruction of the FNAF 2 security office can be very possible. Especially with their budget and especially what they have received after this film. Like, yeah, I think, I think this is a realistic challenge for them to tackle. Uh, how do I? Yeah. This is a very realistic challenge for them to tackle, I, I think, in my opinion. Like, all they all they got to do is add, like, a bunch of screens and stuff, open hallway, some vents on the side, a table in the middle. Like, they, they can definitely tackle that if they couldn't tackle, like, the up, the moving doors and the door lights and stuff. But, yeah, I don't know why they made the office like this and not, like, how it used to look in FNAF 1. Like, I don't know if they couldn't properly remake the doors and plant the door lights vent there which is going to be interesting here are the monitors look at this look how old this looks man and the celebrate poster which looks awesome it's really weird to say i'm in the office right now i'm now i'm really awkward and shy but i'm here which is really weird to think about because when we watch it on the big screen um whenever it comes out uh, it's going to feel weird that i've been in here and recorded the vlog and you know being in the office for the movie, which is really, really crazy to think about. Oh, Corey look, does a little like to vlog the mirror, for this. That says, it's me. I want to know what the hell Corey thinks about the film. Cool little detail there. Generator, the breaker thing, turn the power on and off. That's going to be interesting to see. N sorry to cut off Docker right quick, but I just thought about that. Is Corey ever going to say anything? Bro reacted to the FNAF trailer nine months ago and never came back. I miss him, bro. He needs to stop coming out of the shadows for no reason. If that's ever used. But yeah, Michael's office looks awesome. There's only one door, not two. But see here, I think that's going to be important as well. Um, it looks really, really cool. And it goes through. So that's, I feel like that's going to be used. I definitely want a 1-1 one, one of but yeah, a there you go, guys. Freddy's office that for the next film. Michael's though. office. The guy There's the cameo right. that I showed you earlier. The fuck was that? It's a cameo. Oh, that came from my house, not the video. Thought I heard a car. And here is the like, kitchen the as well. Hopefully, these uh, we're going to see the kitchen at some point. There's a massive fan there, um, which I think is going to be really cool to see. It looks like that's going to be like something. In oh, there they are. Hello. Oh, hi there. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Go down here, though. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Look at this. There's the office, you remember? Went into the office. Go down here. Look down this hallway. Hello? Oh, nobody's there? So this is all in the movie as well. This really cool behind the scenes of the pizzeria. What's in here? Dip your head in. A nice whip. Oh, yeah, it does. That just, that just like gives 4D immersion. Ah, oh, so this is like the storage cupboard. It smells good. Wait, why does it smell good? Everything's it, so Oh, good. it smells like it smells like bleach, like yeah. a cleaning thing. Yeah, really you know, does. I would not expect really this cool. set to smell good. Just like Look what happened. man. They made Look everything the detail and everything. And it's so cool. Is the other room open? Oh, look, is this behind the stage? Yeah. So this, this is behind the stage. So crazy now, this is a really cool room stinks. coming down here. This is parts and service you guys can see my face i'm walking and with Dorco. hello oh, man, you know what parts and service is, is about guys kind of all of the parts and services. Matt Pat made a video addressing his all camera. of the parts i'm gonna watch that on all the, the animatronics 
all the wiring and endos, endo eyes. So cool, man. It really is cool. So this is probably like William and Henry used to go back and you know work on the animatronics and stuff, fix the animatronics, create animatronics. Yeah, Henry didn't get mentioned with them. Yeah. Look at you that. Gotta see Henry. Um, I've been told as well that some of these props are from the old Jim Henson movies. What? Animatronic cans. Oh, an old pinball machine. Very cool. Oh, look at this. Ball it. Man does not wash. <laughs> confirmed. Parks and Are we going to get stuffed? Wait, no, I was, I was joking. What? Are we going to get stuffed? Please. <laughs> <laughs> into these lovely suits here. This is his desk. This is where William does all his best work. This seat over here. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> yes. I'm so I'm so I don't want to die. No. So really oh, you're going to gonna go. Time. Don't you want to stay? No. Oh. I might stay in here for a bit, you know. So cool, though. William's workshop. So oh, cool, man. Oh, is that his arm? Foxy's arm. Yeah, there's a bunch of hands there as well. Animatronic hands, Freddy's mic. Hey, Lewis, I was just wondering, would you like a hand with your vlog? <laughs> this, man, this man with the hands, bro. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. That was a little tour be crazy of the FNAF Pizzeria, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza stage. Place. Hope you enjoyed it. And once again, thank you, Scott, the whole cast and crew, Blumhouse, um, all of the crew here that gave us permission to film all of this. It's an absolute honor. It really is an absolute honour. Absolutely honor. insane. Um, just a massive thank you. Yeah, we're coming back tomorrow, but yeah. See ya. Bye, pizzeria. Don't you think it's quite scary when there's nobody here? Yeah, it really does. Feel... And like an hour ago, there was a bunch of people here filming, it's like a and now it's, space. now it's just empty. Liminal pizzeria. Man. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. Oh wow. We've just been like sitting on the other side of that wall, <laughs> and we had no idea whose room we'd been sitting next to. Can we go in? Um, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna go in much, but this is insane. Oh my gosh. Do the drawings mean anything? The drawings on the Do wall, the drawings so mean anything? So this yeah, is Abby's no, room, guys. It's gonna be in the movie. That room must smell like this is, like is this is somewhere someone wants to. Wow. What is that picture? That is. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, and look, they're on look, all look, of them. Look, look, look. Okay. That must be the people in the suits, right? Oh, okay, yeah. so Ryan and Daka were in here together. That's why it seemed weird that Raz was by himself. I thought like I thought nobody wanted to explore the rest of the place but Raz, and that's why his was like longer. She's seen the spirits. Look, no, because look, the person's fine there, and then look down here, scribbled out again, mm. scribbled out, scribbled out. Look at this. It's like there's like a downfall that happens, man. Yeah. And it's a bit dark in here, guys. But this is apparently still the scene. This is Michael's room. What can we see? It is a bit dark in here. You watched Matt Pat's video? Oh, he's got a gym set. Actually, no, I haven't. Um, I think I'm going to leave um, Ryan and Baz's videos because I'm pretty sure like it's roughly just the same stuff. So, my secret's I don't, I don't want to keep you all for two hours last time. Bed and stuff. Michael sleeps weird, man. Who sleeps with that bed, like, in the middle of the <laughs> like, I reacted to everybody's um, part ones wholly last time, so... <laughs> hey, Michael, man, come on. You're a different thinker, clearly. Yeah. From what we can see, though, like, he's got... What's this is probably about to be the last one I watch out of all of them, and then I'm going to watch the film theory. Because I, I definitely want to see what um, Matt Pat has to say about his part in the movie. It's, um, the, it's the Nebraska poster. Nebraska, which we oh, also yeah. see in the office. Yeah, we he saw that in the office, office yeah. Wow, that's Very nice. cool, though. So some of the scenes are shot in Incredible. here. Yeah, it's just a like house. But yeah, very cool. Okay, guys. We're in Abby's room at night time. <laughs> if you remember yesterday. Night time. It was in the day. Look how cool this looks. Looks like an actual real room, which is awesome. So we're probably gonna get some nice scenes in here. Got the windows and everything. If you look closely as well, there's a bunch of drawings that Abby's drawn. Freddy, Foxy, Chica, and Bonnie. That's crazy how they and let them see the well. set at night too. So you can see that Abby has made friends. Or they probably just darkened the, the set. I'm pretty sure it's still daytime outside. She's really cool. I think about it. What the hell am I talking about? If you come down here, though. Here we have Mike Schmidt's room. Oh, that's a, a cool photo. 
It's supposed to be Mike and Garrett and the really parents. Really got the 90s photos it's done. Really cool family photo. Looks so cool. Oh, Mike's a gym goer. Mike's been lifting some weights to fight off Freddy and the gang. That looks really awesome though. And this is all in the same set where the pizzeria is. It's all in the same studio. So Mike's room and Abby's room. Really cool. I'm in Mike's room. That's insane. Oh, so that's who was playing the the pinball game. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Docco is out here so gaming. Cool, I heard that in the background of Raz's video. I was like, who the fuck is on that machine? <laughs> Bro lost the game. He's irritated. Look at those eyes, they're so dark. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god still. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. They have like a spotlight on the button. Oh, is it linked to we the backstage? This year, we? That's cool. I don't think that's meant to be open. I think that's open. Just seeing how it's sad that we're, that we're, yeah. we're, fi we're finally getting kicked off the set. Yeah, it's really sad. But we've had a great time. We have, we really have. Really and have. We're so fortunate that Scott invited us along and that everybody over at Blumhouse was cool with us being here. And we took advantage. Yeah. Like, we've been here every day. Every day we could have been here from the start to the end. We've seen incredible things. And honestly, think they've done the fans proud mm -hmm. like they really wanted to stick to how it was all in the games and they've done such a good job at that Raz said it perfectly guys um, a massive thank you to everybody um, all of the cast all of the crew here mm -hmm. as well there was like over 100 people here working on this movie and they still had time to welcome us and yeah. they're so nice man like, words can't express how nice they've been to us so yeah uh, um, really grateful the care and effort that they put have put into the, the making of this film will show when it comes live, when yeah. it goes to cinema, you will see. Sorry, I was listening, but I was also looking at the chat. Yeah, how much they care about this project, and it's more than just a paycheck to them. Bye. In fact, no, I'm gonna go get spring locked in a suit so that I. More uh... than just a paycheck, though. Like, true, 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 bro, true, true, true. Like, they shot this movie, like they needed to actually make a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Not that we just need to get this hundred million dollar paycheck, because if we just put the name on the movie, we'll get it. You know. I don't have to leave. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, that's pretty much it for the uh, Finance of Freddy's movie set footage. Um, yeah, I'm glad Scott really allowed YouTubers that we all like to go on the set and, you know, show us, like, how good that movie was and their reactions to it. And we get, like, some close-ups of, like, some scenes behind the scenes. I really do hope Blumhouse comes out with an official one, though, so, like, we can... So we know, like, how hard the process was of making the film, what... What were the thoughts of some people, the actors, or anything like that? I hope we get to see more Scott, too. Shit. We always like seeing Scotty, see? He's always in the shadows, being busy. All right, I'm going to watch um, Matt Pat's video, and then I'm going to end off the stream after that. Because I do want to see what Matt thinks about his role in the Finance of Freddy's film. Because, like, um, you know, we, we had Docco, Raz, 8-Bit Ryan, and Baz for, like, the BTS side of things. But now I want to know what an, what an actual person in the movie has actually thought about their role. So, uh, I'm just going to start my reaction recording right here, and we're just going to get right into it. It's out. I can finally be honest with you. I'm in the FNAF movie! That's oh, actually it's insane. it's been a year! And not only was I a in the year? FNAF movie, Damn. my scene was the first scene shot of the entire production. Day one, what? scene one. I was there. I also Matthew got Patrick. to meet Scott Coffin after eight years of us dancing around each other for the first time in person. But you know what? We're going to get to all that. First they haven't and most met before? I just need to apologize. I'm sorry that I had to lie to you for the better part of the last year to make it seem like I wasn't a part of this whole thing. I'm sorry that there were so many of you that were convinced that I wasn't in it and were mad at the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. You, the first comment from Scott is, I was in a packed theater last night and everyone erupted in cheers when they seen you yeah I, I wasn't expecting matt like I, I i was hearing a voice but like i didn't i didn't even think or realize who was talking then he just showed up on the screen and said it's just a theory i was like oh shit you, you can see my reaction on that video 
production <laughs> on my behalf. That's actually Trust crazy. Me, I would have been mad at the production too if I had thought the same thing. I never wanted to cause any sort of stress or anxiety or bad feelings to any one of you out there. And honestly, for what it's worth, I cannot tell you how wonderful it was for me to see so many of you up in arms defending well, my right to be a part movie. of this thing. I see each of you, and I appreciate nah, what you guys Nah, I just read something that was right crazy. MatPat is to the FNAF movie as Waluigi is to Smash Bros. Nah, that's crazy. part of this thing. I see each of you, that and I appreciate what you guys so are doing. That Waluigi debate was so stupid. Seriously, it I'm meant the world to, to see so many of you care and defend me like that. It was awesome. I just hope that the surprise of me walking out on stage and being revealed to be in this thing was worth all the fake out. And let me it definitely clear, was. At the end of the day, no one from the movie once gave me any sort of instructions on how to handle this whole situation. No one swore me to secrecy. There was no paperwork. There were no explicit instructions of what I could and couldn't say. It was all kind of implied. Everything else was just kind of on me. But I also knew I that if I too. didn't cover the movie or do like live reactions to the trailers on GT Live, things like that, that you all would probably figure it out. You would sense that something was off about our content calendar, that I was hiding something from you. And in turn, that would just ruin the production secret. And let me tell you, I did not expect them to make my life so incredibly difficult, especially when they started <laughs> throwing YouTuber cameos into the trailers themselves. Thanks for that one there, guys. Is that <laughs> No, are you kidding me? Where to? Are you kidding me? Fun fact, <laughs> nah, bro was panicking and he thought he was gonna see himself in there. Okay, they actually had me read for that role literally a week before their filming started. So there I was, awkwardly in my basement at midnight on a Friday with Steph filming me reacting to a giant robot bear in the imaginary backseat of my invisible taxi cab. Go! Go! <laughs> That's insane. Not cool, man. What the hell? Not cool. Oh, and also, in case you were wondering, oh, actually so they were being in the movie, Kai They were originally going to give the taxi scene to Matt, but then Corey was like, oh, sh yeah. I, 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 I liked Corey better in that scene, but Matt Matt as the waiter was probably better because you would have you not expected fucking Matt Pat to be like a waiter in the Finance of Freddy's film. You would expect Matt Pat to be like one of the first security guards, like how you would expect Markiplier or someone like that to be. But, um... Or, or me, you know. No, I'm just kidding. Partially. But, um, yeah, you know, you, you would expect Matt Pat to be like a security guard. I, it, it definitely caught me by surprise, like, when they showed him in the frame and he was about to give the the menu. I was like, oh, shit. And then he said, it's just a theory. I think the main making theories predicting what was going to be in the movie I loved it. a bit tricky. I had the whole script. And so basically, unless they rewrote the whole thing, I knew basically all the major story beats. It kind of felt like I would be cheating somehow or spoiling the movie in advance unfairly. So instead, that film theory prediction of the movie was one of the few times where I actually took a complete step back from the channel and was almost entirely leaving the script in someone else's hands, letting film theories creative director Lee handle all the heavy lifting based on information that was available via the trailers. And I gotta say, I was surprised with just how much he got right, and also some of the things that he missed, but you know what? That's a theory for another day. Anyway, so yeah, almost uh, exactly one year ago, all the way back in November of 2022, I was contacted by Blumhouse to be a part of the movie, or Bad Cupcake, as they were calling it back then. It was the secret code name, so no one discovered what it was. A week before flying out, they were still shuffling me around to see what my part would be, and on February 1st, day one, scene one, I was in New Orleans to film this thing. Hey there. Welcome to Sparky. That's crazy. Uh, okay, but let's get real. The whole taxi bro went from taxi driver to the waiter. That's awesome though. And they and then you see him in his uh, his outfit too. Their thing is kind of crazy. They're like, no, we will bring the stuff to you, and oh, you can stay in your trailer. I'm like, it's okay. I can go get my own food. They're like, no, but you are the actor. One thing off the bat that I didn't expect was actually the scale of this thing because. That's how they be treating actors? Like, we get your food and all that stuff? Like, what the fuck? I, I can walk and go get the food wherever y'all are making it, you know? Like, I, I, I don't want no damn Alfred Pennyworth. I, I can go get my own food. <laughs> It was massive. I got You're it. probably thinking, well, no doubt. Like, I I'll give y'all your food. Y'all brought me here to, to be in this movie. I got y'all, bro. Like, y'all need some help cleaning up a set? Like, I want to be useful. Like, I don't want somebody to treat me like I'm royalty. That that's weird. Matt, it was a movie, but I guess that never really registered with me. I mean, I've done professional theater before. I've done things like big really? Mr. Beast shoots where he takes over entire football stadiums. How different could this actually be? Well... Was, I knew about the Mr. Beast thing because of the Rosanna Panzino drama, but I didn't, um, I didn't know, um, 
MatPat actually did film. Different. It was huge. I have never seen anything this size. Perfect before. for the role that he the got then. Of people, the coordination. I had a costume fitting the day before, and for my dinky little cameo of three lines in this movie, I kid you not, they had me try on 20 different combinations Damn. of outfits, all of which had to then be run by the director and Scott for their approval. <laughs> I mean, an entire floor of a. <laughs> you know, Scott was like, nah, give him the waiter. <laughs> it was just full wall to wall of clothing. Hundreds and hundreds of outfits. Michael alone ass. had practically an entire wall all to himself. It was actually there that I got to see who else was going to be a part of this movie up on the wall. That's where I actually learned that Corey was going to be a cab driver for the first time. It was also where I saw that good old Markiplier was supposed to be the security guard who gets killed at the very beginning of the movie. But probably most importantly of all, it's there that I also saw the withered dabbing Chica posted on the wall. Like what? Some sort of guardian angel over the production. <laughs> Basically. Uh, nah, but see, this is what I'm talking about talking about this is why i kind of wish cory would have came out and um talked about his behind the scenes thing because like damn um i i didn't know it was like this in this in death for marker for not for not for, not for marker player for matt pat side of things like we get to see what it's like to be an actor in the film and see like the type of stuff he's seen as an actor. I was just doing the whole theorist thing by trying to pick up as many small details and Easter eggs as I could in what few moments I had left unsupervised. Funny enough, it turns out the production staff were trying to do the exact same thing right back at me. From the moment I stepped into my first costume fitting, people started to grill me about Who's FNAF. that purple guy? No joke. Why is Apparently, that kid crying? Apparently, been briefed that I was someone who had studied the franchise a lot. And so I was getting inundated with all sorts of questions about the type of person that Mike is, or how I saw William Afton in my mind's eye, or whether I could give them information about characters like Abby. I Bro, imagine coming here to be an actor and then they ask you about the intricate lore of Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on my break, bro. Leave me alone. Honestly, think it was them trying to get a feel for whether they were on the right track with all of this. How the community as fans might respond to all of this world that they'd created, which honestly is okay. pretty cool. The same thing happened the next day when we were on location at the shoot, where all the other actors in my scene between setups would take time to ask me about how their FNAF? characters behave What's in my game, character how like their role game? fit to the overarching narrative oh. Oh. the franchise but you gotta say oh, that shit's fire. kind of a bummer because all the characters in my scene were just made up for the movie so didn't have a whole lot of detail to impart on them so instead yeah. of all that heather stewart masterson uh she's Aunt <laughs> it's kind of funny to be like the person that everyone's relying on to look better in the movie. She just ended up asking film. me a lot of questions about the parallels between Abby and Baby from the game, since that's the one that her character is probably most focused on. In general, though, it was clear that across the board, everyone was so eager to do the franchise justice. They wanted to yeah. know as that's much as great. they could. They wanted to learn. We need Blumhouse to make more game films on horror they were or some shit. proud to be a part of a project and being able to show it off. The only sad part of it all was that I was so early in this project. Like, I swear, like I'm so happy Paramount did not get to Scott because like you know how they almost fucked up Sonic and how the community needed to yell at them for that I'm glad Universal and Blumhouse got fin Finance of Freddy's Process. Most of the stuff wasn't even ready for me to see yet. They really wanted to show me the pizzeria, but schedule-wise, the first month of production was dedicated to everything happening outside of the pizzeria wow. Meaning that the set it was still being built. It was still in process. So when they took me to see it it just got a lot of blank walls. Wow. And don't get me wrong, they were impressive blank walls. Very big, very majestic blank walls, but still left a lot to the imagination. Same thing kind of happened when they showed me the animatronics. Everything was still locked away because it needed final testing, so the most I got was like... I hope you got to see the finished product. A sliver in the wall. It's awesome. I think I could make out the murder mask. I'm like, what's up with that weird murder Freddy mask? head? And they're like, I don't know, creative decision. But come to think of it, creative it actually kind of worked out really well because when it came time to react to the trailers when they were being uploaded to YouTube, I didn't have to fake anything because it was truly my first time getting to see all of this thing finished. Sure, I knew the storyline of the movie. Uh, I had the whole script in my hand. Yeah, in a negative, in a negative like 100% that I get added to the second film, which I hope I do because FNAF 2 is my favorite game. And I hope they do it on the old FNAF 2 office. I hope they don't allow me to see shit. I hope, I hope that like, I, like, I, I, I don't even know, bro. I just only get to see my role and that's it. <laughs> and I knew what part I played in this whole thing. That's, but that's good that they didn't let YouTubers see anything. How it all worked together. It was my I like how they treat that no as well. Reactions here, my friends. And to be honest, they wanted everything genuine, hundred percent. Doesn't do the scale of this whole thing justice. I cannot stress to you how massive this production was. They literally built an entire restaurant inside of an old abandoned Home Depot in New Orleans. Hallways, rooms. It was a complete restaurant. Did Home I hear Depot. that right? 
production was. They literally built an entire restaurant inside of an old abandoned Home Depot in New Orleans. Hallways, rooms, it was a complete restaurant, which was just mind blowing to me. Most movies would probably try to do some clever camera tricks or green screening or something, but no, they built an entire building from the ground up inside of another building. It was crazy. As far as my role in all of this, I had a one day shoot and what that actual day I had to wake up at 4 a.m. and then find a car that had been left for me in a random parking garage the night before. What Inside the, the car were explicit driving instructions to a secret location. Really felt like something straight out of a spy movie. From there, I drove an hour out of town to a random diner that had been shut down due to COVID. Once we were on location- That's how they, they be treating people? That's crazy, that's that's cool. Actually gave me my own trailer. They told me that's not the sort of thing Waiter that a Doug. player would normally get, but they wanted to give us YouTubers the star treatment, which I gotta say was just like incredibly generous of them. That's right. Got three lines, baby. Damn. That's what I get. That's <laughs> nice. That's where I'm gonna be hanging out. Nah, that's insane the next though. Two episodes of Game Theory gonna be written probably. Inside my trailer, I found this. This guy right here, little rubber chicken head, little pencil topper. He was in one of the drawers, and so I, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna work him into my character. And so if you see him in the Bro movie, rescued him. That's it little easter egg for you and from there it was on the set where for the next eight hours we were working on a single scene that one diner scene you heard that right eight straight hours one thing why so long they had the cameras set up outside then they had to move the cameras inside then they had to have Jesus. the specialty close-up cameras then they had to remove half the booth to capture one side of a conversation then remove the other half of the booth replace the other half of the booth to capture the other side of the conversation then they had to remove the booth entirely so they could put cameras right here and capture a close-up of my face there were b-rolls of different tables getting served there were b-rolls and specialty shots of dishes getting served up at the window it was a lot for what holy shit ultimately amounts in the movie to be like three minutes of footage as you so, might imagine we all started if he did all that for eight hours just to say it's a theory what what do you have to do if you're actually like a character that has to die in a horror movie like bit creative how many shots do they have to make up make for that right, what are you doing i'm filming this for eventually when i do the like hey i was in this movie and it's behind the oh scenes oh my goodness wow so no pressure hey <laughs> The lengthy time between takes as they moved cameras along also gave me plenty of chances to explore the set for any hints of lore. And I actually found a lot of really fun details buried in the walls. Like, uh, here's one time where I found the fake diner's registration information. Here's another one where I found a QR code ATC. that I was almost convinced was trying to be a start of some new ARG. Then I learned that it wasn't. At which point, <laughs> I decided to call that detail out to the production team as being anachronistic since this was meant to be set at a time before QR codes became mainstream, and then they promptly took it down. So, uh, uh, damn. Um, uh, uh, he belonging to. A, oh, he literally just fucking said that too. TLDR of this entire video. He just taught me a whole another word. Saved the FNAF movie. By the way, on the subject. That's how you know I'm stupid. He he already said the definition, but I already searched it up. Like. The small details. I don't know if you noticed it in the movie, but the diner I work in is called Sparky's Diner, which is a reference to one of the earliest urban legends from the first FNAF game. That Sparky there was this the dog. dog animatronic named Sparky hidden somewhere inside. The movie is actually full huh. of these sorts of Easter eggs. For instance, my character's official name, right here, it's Ness. I don't know if you've noticed this one in the movie, but it's Ness. And I was told by everyone that Scott specifically called out that he needed me to be named Ness. At first, I immediately thought like, oh, this gotta be a reference to Ness from FNAF AR. Or maybe this is another instance of Vanessa from Security Breach. You know, just Scott trolling people by using the same name over and over again. But no, when I met him later in the day, he told me it was a reference to Sans's Ness. He was very proud of himself. Speaking of! I hate, I hate you, Scott Coffin. I hate you, Scott Coffin. You were like, you were like, you were like the world's biggest troll, bro. You are. He, this man is the world's biggest troll. He can't be stopped. Really? This man, Scott. This man, Scott, will never stop trolling. We have to get him back someday. All that. All that for a Sans joke. This man, this man flew out here, got his role placed. They, they set him up just for a Sans joke. It's really bringing back the 2000 and like what, 
18, 17 vibes? The man, the myth, the legend himself, Scott Cawthon. The whole time, it was unclear whether Scott would actually be there on set. It was one of those things that people were like, we don't know if Scott's going to be there. He might show up. We asked him if he's going to show up on the first day. I, I thought that was a little bit weird. I mean, it's your first day of shooting your movie that's been like five plus years in the making. I don't know, you'd think that you'd try to make an appearance there or something, right? Well, he did, but apparently it was a big surprise. He flew in special for that day. It was interesting. Most of the production crew didn't know who he was. They who just is this guy? As the VIP on set, who everyone had to listen to if he asked them to do something, but no one actually understood what he was. That That's he was crazy. The game. I, I think ultimately it winds up being a movie thing, you know, where he's just responsible for talking to the director, who's then the one who's executing on his creative vision. So a lot of the rest of the day to day okay. staff don't really need to know that this is the man that gave them a reason to be there in the first place. But yeah. I got to meet him. It was great. He has a good, strong handshake, and he looks you in the eye when you talk, <laughs> which is always the sign of an upstanding person. He yeah. was wearing a uh, classic Zelda t-shirt, which... Big or or just a person that is, like, analyzing you so they know the best way to troll and fuck with you. Like, seriously. Props to that one. And, uh, I mean, just look, look, at it, look at his smile, bro. This man is full of jokes. I can just, I can just tell. I'm honestly of directing everyone. I overheard him consulting some of the costume department and clearly outlining his vision of what everyone should be wearing, which was really cool. I think most people Vanessa have Shelley. been intimidated by this massive production all leaning on him, but... It was just really impressive to watch. He made sure that I knew about the whole Ness joke and also about how he gave the waiter roll bonus lines. In fact, he was so proud of that one line that he asked me to go over the top with it like I do in the videos as part of the scene. <laughs> and I did it for one take and it was weird, especially with everyone else in the scene taking the scene so seriously. And so we all decided to keep it a bit more toned down. He took off before I left for the day and I said, I'll see you again at the premiere. And, uh, well, there's no premiere, so I guess that's the last time I'm ever going to see him. Oh, and, uh, no, to answer your obvious Ouch. question, we did not talk about lore. We both swore that one off. Instead, we talked about the community and how we both expected the community to take this particular script. Mm. In the end, he was just really grateful for me being able to be a part of the movie. And that was mind-blowing to me, because I'm like, are you kidding? I was the one who was lucky. I got to be in this mainstream movie. How cool is that? Growing up, acting was one of my dreams. That's insane, To be man. a performer. That was always like the end goal for me for like the first 18 years of my life. And since then, that goal's obviously changed. The fact life. I've moved on, I've done something. The fact that Matt actually has like clips of his acting too, that's that's crazy. I like I like that. Honestly, that I'm more proud of here where Matt kept I'm able that. to make a business and perform as myself instead of as a character. But this was, in a lot of ways, a realization of that dream that baby Matt Pat had nearly a decade ago. 2009. I actually recorded a bit of my thoughts as I was getting ready to leave the set. It felt important to document. And that's a wrap. I was there. I was in it. <laughs> kind of sad. But it was cool to see a childhood dream in some ways get realized. It was kind of like I got a peek into a multiverse of another life of mine. And then that was it. Back home, like nothing had ever happened. I did keep the pencil topper and the name tag as souvenirs, <laughs> though. So, uh, yes. That's awesome. I did steal from the set of FNAF <laughs> the movie. Uh, for two days, this was just a small window into something that was so big. I got to be a visitor in this massive machine that I hopped off of and then that just continued on without me. But man, let me tell you, it is surreal to see posters going up in theaters of a movie. It's crazy how FNAF is like helps oh, a lot of us, man. Can I, can I level with you for a second? This whole thing, it was so intimidating. You know.
again. Show them the force of Team Internet so that the late night hosts and the executive producers finally learn that things from the internet deserve to be pronounced correctly. Anyway, in the end, who knows? Maybe there'll be room in the sequel for the return of a well-meaning cringy waiter with a love of breakfast and a memeish name. But until then, remember, <laughs> they need to get him as a security not guard. A theory. It's just a video. Video for you. Thanks for watching. Is that what he says on film theory? Damn, that that was actually weird to hear. Like I, I was waiting for the a game theory, but no, motherfucker said a, a, a film theory. I gotta watch more film theory though, cause he's actually talking about like YouTube stuff too. It's not just like films, the back rooms, murder drones. I actually might check this shit out. But um, yeah, it, like like um, I've been sitting on a live stream. If you don't know, I've been watching um. Razbowski's and Daco's behind the scenes footage with with the spoilers this time for an hour straight and it's like it's really good to see like a bunch of YouTubers actually go to these sets and they're like holy shit this is like intimidating this is crazy <laughs> it's, it's just awesome to see that like Blumhouse and Universal cared about having the YouTubers there to show the audience and the community that they are indeed making a movie that they want to make the community proud with so yeah and I love the and I loved hearing about how the treatment was that these youtubers got like the youtubers didn't get to like see anything that spoiled them so they actually got to react with their audience and everything was genuine hell even an actor didn't get to see much of the movie and much was left to their interpretation and it was pretty awesome and it was great to hear that MatPat had a lot of people coming up to him for their roles to see if their role fit with what they were trying to create like it, it was it was awesome bro it, it's awesome hearing how they get treated down there it's awesome like i don't know Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this live stream and that's pretty much it for this video. So I will see y'all later. Peace.